Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the Synology and the DSM-7. I will show how you can create uh, the isolated environment so you can just uh, spin up for testing before you creating to the primary host uh, and then you can probably use it if you as a family. Then you have your nice uh, system and your child's doesn't, doesn't need to get access for your files so you can create the virtual DSM on, in this way so you can use it on, on many person. Personally I use it for testing so I can create videos and testing features before I'm rolling out for the production environment in my home for Synology NAS. And that's what I got to learn you today. So please subscribe to this channel by clicking on the thing in the right corner below on the video and uh, I really hope you want to like and share and of course make a questions if you have any questions about this video or you have the feedback. So let's go ahead. The first we're gonna do is open the control panel and inside here you need to found uh, the network. In the network you have the network interfaces. The interfaces is all your uh, your Ethernet cables. In my case I have four and I have one this is my primary address. If you if you have the bond like you have the the, the, the bond here so you basically have all the four cables in the same one so you only have, only have one IP address you need to reset your network settings. Going back for your um, back for your reset button on your NAS and press it down in like five ten seconds. It doesn't uh, remove your data. It's only reset your administrator contour, and then you have resetting the, the the LAN cables. If you don't know about this one and you like me only have all the four or you only have one, then you don't need to do anything. Then you just need to click on manage and click on the open uh, vSwitch settings. You need to enable the open vSwitch if you have this one. In my case because I already have turned it on and I, it's in used, then I need, uh, I, I can remove it. So yeah, when you click OK for your purpose, you probably won't uh, need some time before it's taking effect. Close the network down when you're finished and uh, be sure you now have the uh, virtual um, the, the virtual uh, machine here I can show you this one if you did not have this one you can go in for the package center um, mm, 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 package here package center and you can just say virtual here and you can just download here when you open the virtual machine manager first time, it's, it's will guiding you uh, in some steps. Please just follow that and, and fill out as uh, the way you really want that. And uh, then when you're finished, we need to go for the storage. I need to add one storage and you get this pop up and just click start and click off this one. I have 47 terabyte of memory, uh, memory uh, storage, sorry, I have uh, 24 back. Then I click next and what did we want to notify me here, I just say that's fine. When we are done with this we need to go in for the network and we probably have the default VM network. Right click and click edit. I don't want, I only want to use the lane 4 for that so I can bunt the three others in the later use of course. Then we need to go for the image and what we're gonna do here it's a DSM image and I want to add this and you have from your computer it will open up it's from your NAS I will don't use this I will say download the virtual DSM image it's taking a little time to figure out which one you want to download so I just say download here I can see it's a 300 megabytes that's fine for me it's, it's nothing and then I'm basically just download it down here and click this storage and done. And it's taking a little time before it's um, downloading done and we just keep waiting. Depends on your uh, on your internet. So you can see it's pretty fast here.
When it's turned the status to healthy, then we know everything is uh, done and we can now go for the virtual machines. Click on create and in this pop-up we have a different uh, way to do this. We have the window, Microsoft Windows and Linux, Synology, Virtual, DSM and other. In this case we want to select the Synology Virtual DSM and we need to click on the storage here we want to select and then we need the memory I will give it uh, to memory and CPU is, is fine and I'll just say uh, DSM 7 YouTube that's what my version should be and it's asking how much data you want I will say VSL disk 1 and uh, just click next and this is the next uh, network sorry and I will select the the network here and you can see the manual configuration the default and the VLAN so in my case I have the VLAN on my network so I could do this but I don't want it but you, yeah it's up to you how you basically set it up so I just cancel it and I use it the default way here you can set it to auto start no last start and yes and I will set it to no because when I'm booting up my NAS and working with it, I don't interest it to have my test box running in the background. So, so that's uh, it's no go in my case. I have different users here, and I don't think nobody of my users should have access to this. And uh, then we just say power on the VSL machine after creating. It's uh, creating it, and we can see here it's a running on host, and it's taking a little time I will just put up here so we can see something running here and we will say use an exist license and yeah that's what we're gonna do invadable one of one and yeah that's a free so if you have the Synology one you have one for free license if you need more than one you need to buy a new license so sometimes it's it's okay but I really hope Synology for for us personal use can could be some like three DSM and something like that but for now it's only one and yeah it's it's out of my hands so we will work with the with this one so just click done um and then it's preparing and it will starting up just in minutes your power on and if you're going for the network you can see the default network here and if I'm going for the general one I don't have any IP address right now and I'll just see it should yeah it should, it should having up here but uh, it's it's good taking some some small time to boot up so let's uh, waiting a little bit so when it's uh, booted up and everything is running as it should be then you should having the IP address down below here it could take up to like a two minutes or something like that so just wait for that now we can just uh, click on this and click connect and then this will open the new browser here and we'll just say that's that's fine when we are here it will uh, be booting up for the first time and uh, we are almost good to go now so just keeping up and waiting a little bit and then this will be be built and we should be able to in to sending our input by the username and the, the name of the new DSM and the password so when we hit in this screen we can just click start and the device name should be DSM 7 YouTube and my account should be my name I just typing down my password and I click next and then it should be good to go and we should be enabled to to boot up the, the system now and yeah congratulations I just said skip and submit and then we are going for the DSM so now we have everything we, we need I just click this down and click OK so yeah it's running we have the package center like you always know that from the previous version we have the file station it's saying we don't have any yeah just take a little time 
we don't have any shell files and something like that and I think I'm too fast yeah and we just say okay it's everything is fine and yeah and you can see this one it's the traffic about the CPU using and the memory and everything is pretty good to go thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you get in touch with the how you can uh, installing the the DSM 7 in your virtual uh, machine management on your new uh, uh, DSM 7 thank you so much and I really hope you want to to subscribe me just click on the thing below in the right corner and then you get subscribed and get new videos from me and I really hope you want to hit the like button and subscribe and share and of course if you have any questions please make a comments below thank you so much and hope to see you next time bye